In order to understand how BBM works after season 4 changes, let's look at what BBM currently does in season 3. I think that in 10% slow motion, so we can better see what's going on here. Stock BBM missile has 8 kinetic direct damage and 5 explosive area damage. It penetrates target up to 4 times and on the 5th time it explodes doing double damage. And now wait for it. There you go, double damage. And in order to understand how it works, let's look at the scheme of the events. That is on penetrated event, it gets called basically every time you hit something, and for it to be called true penetrate property of the movement component must be set to true, and it is set to true in the file, so when the missile gets launched, it is initially true. Then there go this multi condition, where every subcondition must have a positive result. The first two don't really matter, should penetrate, you see it actually gets modified later in the flow. And also it filters players, although I haven't checked if it's just you or your teammates as well. If it's a no, then it just goes to the next step, and if it's a yes, then it tries to cast the material it hit to class physical material, for whatever reason, and no matter the result of the further condition that you see, it damages targets in a way that light or heavy armor don't have effect on the damage. On the next step, it checks whether it is you who controls the missile or not. Instigator here is your character. And if it's a no, then it checks whether it hit a bone, in other words a bug or some other AI, and if yes it just generates explosion effects. And if you are in control of that particular missile, then it again checks if it's allowed to penetrate, and again it checks if it wasn't a player that was hit. If the check fails, then it somehow cancel penetration, although I haven't really seen cancel penetration property ever become true. And if the check succeeds, then it again does that is pawn check, and if yes it generates explosion effects and reduces max spawn impacts by 1. Initially it is set to 5 in the file, so we figure that should be trade property becomes false on the 5th execution of this event. In other words, this event is allowed to be executed upon hitting a creature only for 5 times. The next thing it does, I guess it stops tracking hit creature for a tenth of a second, judging by the property name, but I don't know for sure. Here you can probably see the whole event, but it's not the only one that is able to do damage. Plasma person missiles also inherit from normal missiles on impacted event that does damage upon missile destruction. So now we have the answer why the last hit is doubled. It's just that there is two events that do damage one after another. The last hit I mean in general, it doesn't have to be the fifth hit, it also deals double damage when it collides with terrain. And by the way, on impacted damage, or in other words, the finishing hit is affected by armor, while on penetrated damage is only affected by unbreakable armor, like the one of oppressor. See here, the last two hits have different damage amounts, so it's not literally doubled, but as I said, it is dealt one after another. The main issue with BBM Season 3 is that missiles get very easily eaten by terrain, so let's see what second experimental version of Season 4 brings to the table. And that's what it says, Guidance System Update. So I have some doubts about it, so let's see what's been changed. Remember the unpenetrated event? Now missile gets permission to bounce for 1 second after it hits a creature where mock spawn impact is not yet reduced to zero, and bounce allows it to live through tier collision, and also there is one more thing. That event gets caught on penetrating hit, however, since it acquires the ability to bounce, it always decides to not penetrate but to bounce off creature, like it has priority over penetration and thus it never penetrates and only bounces around creatures. Additionally, there is now a bounce event. What it does is upon every bounce, it checks if current time minus time of last bounce, which is here initially, is equal or greater than half a second. And if so, it reassigns time of last bounce, and does area damage in missile's current location. So let's see what's happening, it goes under the bounce detonator, it hit it, you see one tick of damage gets dealt, then max spawn impacts got reduced by one, that means on penetrated event got executed, and the result of it is that should bounce became true, so it now can bounce for one second. And as you can see, time of last bounce didn't get reassigned, so on bounce event didn't get executed, although it bounced, but it didn't penetrate, while on penetrated event get ran, and on bounce event didn't, which doesn't make really sense. Then, you see second tick of damage, max spawn impacts got reduced by one, one more time. Third time, fourth and fifth time. 
Now you see there is like four stick and there is like fifth stick. Uh, what is that? It is additional area damage stick. That is fourth stick and that is fifth stick. So now max point impacts is zero, which means that shoot penetrate is false. And that very moment, that very moment, on bounce event gets ran to finally recognizes that it bounces of enemy. And since it recognizes, and since it reassigns now time of those bounce, the next step is, is, is that it deals area damage. As that we saw it before in the scheme. Now it bounces around because should bounce is still true. Now it reassigns the time for the second time after half a second. Because as we remember, it takes half a second for it to reassign time of those bounce and deal, and deal damage one more time. Here you see one more time it dealt area damage. So now two executions of on bounce event. And now dealt 4.18 damage that is on impacted event upon rocket destruction. Because shoot bounce is now false. And that is the only damage source that gets left. Let's see here what will happen to Warden. First hit. Modify 2, which means it was a critical hit. Then the next frame, max point impulse got reduced by 1. Shoot bounce became true. Which means on pin traded event gets ran. And on bounce event didn't. Then second hit, third hit, which is yet to come and now one two three four one two one two three four four ticks and still can bounce i don't know it's somewhere bounce is somewhere to the right i guess and now fifth tick and that very moment on bounce when gets ran you see Time of first bounce gets reassigned. Should be in trade as false. And should bounce is true. And that is additional area damage tick. Half a second later, it gets ran again on bounce event. And again, you see area damage tick. And on impacted damage here, when should bounce becomes false. Let's see another example. It falls on Warden. We get critical hit here. X3. Max point impact got reduced by 1. And should bounce is true. Then a second hit. Second time got reduced. Uh, what's happening here? Let's go back. See? The moment it touched ground, we get two area damage sticks, and one of them is on bounce event, because it can't be in the ground, so it runs on bounce event on this. This is on bounce event, but what then is this? It is actually on penetrated event, remember? It checks whether what it hit is physical material, and it is not necessarily a creature. It doesn't check if it's a pawn, it runs damage like as a first step before it checks if it's a pawn or not. And if it's a creature, i.e. pawn, then it uh, reduces max pawn impact. But it deals damage first. So first tick, second tick, and then on bounce event, and then three tick of on penetrated event. Now we see third tick, max point impulse became two. One, two, three, third tick. Then should penetrate true, should bounce true. Fourth tick. And fifth tick became zero, should penetrate immediately became false. Now it is allowed to bounce off creature. 
I mean, it is allowed to run on bounce event of creature when it bounces off creature. And therefore, therefore, it dealt free area damage signal of creature when it when it already can penetrate it, but it still can bounce off it. Then you know it's gonna bounce for one second. Now see, it dealt a gain damage of on bounce event. And now it's it got to be on impacted damage, on impacted event. However, on bounce, bounce, bounce is still true, should bounce. But the rocket is already destroyed for some reason. Let's look at the more interesting example. You see missile force on Praetorium. Then it bounces off it, does first damage stick. Max spawn impact got reduced by one. Should pin it red true, should bounce is now true. Second damage stick immediately. And now you see I, I am aiming it at the ground. So it will bounce off ground and then it will bounce between Praetorium's bottom and the ground. And I actually want that ground hit. Let's see why. When it hits ground, I get two area damage sticks for free. One of them is on bounce event because time gets reassigned. So one of them is on bounce event and another one is on penetrated event. As you remember, it checks if it's a physical material and not necessarily a creature. It only checks if it's a creature in order to reduce that max spawn impacts number. And hence, it doesn't reduce it, but it still deals damage. Now let's see what happens further. It does the third tick, the first tick, and hallelujah, it hits the ground again. And again we get these two free damage ticks. One of them is on bounce, because time gets reassigned. And another one is on penetrated, free damage. Then we get the fifth tick. And important, important moment here. We don't get on bounce event, free area damage tick of creature bounce. When should penetrate becomes false. Because half a second haven't passed yet. And that is the only condition of on bounce event. It should be half a second between two hits and it didn't happen yet. So let's see, it's gonna bounce around. Bounce, 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 display it. And now it finally happened. On bounce event got executed. Half a second later, I think. Probably it's even more. Yeah, it's more because it wasn't there when half a second has passed. Then, then it flies, 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 bounce, bounce, bounces, and finally it deals impact damage on impacted event when this should bounce becomes false. Also, I want to tell about this picture. You see, it hits ground, but in fact it hits its armor. And as you remember, I said, on penetrated event doesn't care about armor unless it's unbreakable. So it used full direct damage on it. Again, full damage. And again, three ticks off the ground. Now again, full damage. And again, full damage. So light armor doesn't really matter. So heavy matter actually also doesn't matter. Now this is the case when it actually matters. It hits. It, it did second hit, but the second hit is without direct damage because it hits unbreakable armor. And the unbreakable armor, it actually matters for on being treated event. Now go further, we go further. And before the third hit, we see that should bounce, it actually it is already expired. 
One second is passed. That hit. And actually dealt like all the remaining hits. And the explosive damage tells us that it mostly hit unbreakable armor. There wasn't any ground hits. In the next patch, devs buff PPM even more. And in particular, max spawn impacts was 5 and now it became 7. And now let's see what's happening in the new build. Hit the armor. Armor doesn't matter. It, it deals full 8 damage. And max spawn impacts was 7. It is 7 initially in the new build and now it became 6. Should penetrate true, should bounce became true. Second tick. Third tick, it actually bounces quite rapidly. One, two, three, already three ticks. Fourth tick, you see it deals full damage every time. Heavy armor really doesn't matter. Now, what what is it? One, two, three, four, fifth tick. Six tick. 7 stick and 3 area damage stick of on bounce event. You see, time was reassigned here. That is on bounce event area damage stick. So, in total, we get 7 ticks of on pin treated event when it touches creature. Then we get 3 area damage stick of on bounce event. And since it didn't bounce on ground, we didn't get any 3 area damage stick of on bounce event and of on penetrated event. So we really we actually wanna eat to bounce of ground, but it's still not like so big. Then 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 bounce bounce bounces then it again runs on bounce events. We get another area damage stick here in half a second. And can't really get destroyed because there is also shoot bounce is yet to be false. It still can bounce. That's why it can be destroyed. And now it gets destroyed. And as you can see here, important moment that on impacted event that gets caught upon rocket destruction, it accounts armor. It actually armor actually matters. For on impact event, but it doesn't matter for on penetration event. That is key difference. I initially made this scheme in the text format. Maybe it's better this way. 